Moving on to other stories. The enforcement team of the Ghana Revenue Authority has served notice that its operations to get all entities to integrate their collection point to their electronic tax system is not targeted at only retail centers but all forms of businesses. The move follows an, uh, the action by the team to seal some selected shops belonging to the Palace Mall in Laboni, Spintex Road, Atomic Junction and Tema in the Greater Accra region. The following report has more. <laughs> The quest to get companies comply with the GRE electronic VAT system continues as the enforcement team sealed the premises of selected shops belonging to the Palace Mall in Laboni, Spintex Road, Weja, and the Regal Chinese Restaurant in Osu. <laughs> The Ghana Revenue Authority, however, allowed business entities that have complied with the laws by integrating their collection system with the electronic VAT system to operate peacefully. Addressing journalists before the exercise, Deputy Commissioner of Operations at the GRE, Kwesi Hagan, hinted that about 25 entities have so far complied with the law. We are imploring all of us to ensure that of the 50 taxpayers who have been hooked, are supposed to hook onto the system, all would have complied as at yesterday. So for those who have not been complying, the takeout is that please do so before we get there, because it is not our intention to come and close your place down. We want you to work for the taxes to be paid. So this is just a suggestion and a plea to the taxpayers out there that get onto the Commissioner General's EVAT before preventive and enforcement actions are taken against you. We'll continue this exercise throughout the week until each and every taxpayer of the 50 assigned is hooked onto the system. We have engaged an initial 25, yes. The Accra Central Enforcement Manager, Joseph Annan, who led the operations, warned the business entities not to tamper with the Commissioner's tape used to block the entrance of their companies else face imprisonment. He explains. To ensure that these selected taxpayers comply with the law. Fortunately for us, the places we have been to, they all locked out their places before we got there. And that is good for us because we spent less time to get the places. We just applied the commissioner's generous tip. And please, you tamper with that tip, it compounds your problems because it can lead to an imprisonment. So if I were you, I will guide it jealously. But when we come to your premises and it's been tempered with, you have questions to answer. So there are places that we have not applied our padlocks, but the commissioner's tip is even much more Wittier than applying the padlocks. The GRE revealed that series of engagements have been held for the selected shops before the October implementation date. Now, joining us through Zoom is Assistant Commissioner of VAT Administration, Philip Aqua, uh, to tell us more. Uh, Philip, thank you so much for your time. Tell us more about this particular exercise. Philip, can, can you unmute so we can, we can understand what you're telling us? All right. Uh, good morning to your viewers. Can you hear me clearly? Very, very. All right. So good morning to your viewers, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to have a discussion with you on this subject uh, this morning. Yeah, yeah. so, so I, w I wanted you to tell us more about this particular exercise that you are undertaking. So this is, uh, this is an exercise that's known globally. Uh, it's called electronic uh, invoicing system. So when you look at uh, global tax administration, uh, for the administration of VAT, this is a system that has been used to ensure compliance uh, for VAT administration. For a longer time, uh, we have administered VAT 
using the manual VAT uh, administration regime. And conducting research, uh, we realized that uh, the electronic invoicing system uh, is the, the way to go. So what we have done is the Commissioner General has uh, implemented an electronic invoicing system that sits on the GRA server. And for all taxpayers that have been granted dispensation to issue their own invoicing systems, uh, their own invoices, Commissioner General is now plugging in into these various invoicing systems to ensure that all invoices that are issued are authenticated and validated by GRE. That's, so that's pretty much what we're doing uh, with this system. And for all taxpayers that are on the manual VAT invoicing regime, we are giving them a free invoicing system. So basically, if you are, uh, for example, a lawyer or an accountant who doesn't have uh, a, a, an invoicing system to issue an invoice, Commissioner General is giving you a free invoicing system to use. It's free of charge uh, to issue invoices. Mm. Uh, so, so these entities are the 50 you've been talking about. We, we, are, we know we've been told that 25 of them have been able to, you know, hook onto the system. Is that it? 50 entities? Correct. Mm. Um, now, how long have these businesses been operating without EVAT? So we started this project uh, early this year. So March this year, we started uh, engaging uh, businesses that we earmarked for the first stage of the implementation. Mm. Uh, so this is a, a new system that uh, GRA is implementing. And uh, even though it's new uh, to the country, for most taxpayers that are issuing their own uh, using their own system issuing to issue invoices, it is not new to them. What GRA is doing is that for all those taxpayers that have their own invoicing system, mm -hmm. Commissioner General is plugging into those invoicing system to ensure that in real time or near real time, those invoices that are issued or receipts that are issued, Commissioner General basically has a, co uh, a copy of those invoices so that uh, before you even file, the Commissioner General knows how much taxes that you have to pay. So at the end of the exercise, uh, what do you hope to hope to achieve? So the objective is to ensure that we curtail the current abuse of the manual VAT uh, invoicing regime. So we know that uh, currently there are a lot of uh, print houses in the country that actually print uh, VAT invoices and some taxpayers use these uh, receipts or invoices, collect the, uh, the taxes that are supposed to be paid to the government and keep those taxes. So what we want to do is get rid of the abuse in the current VAT uh, invoicing regime by ensuring that all the taxes that are due to the government are actually paid. Mm. So once you're doing that, what about the people who fall out of the 50, people who are given VAT booklet by GRA. Uh, what are you doing to ensure that they also don't, 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 don't keep money, so revenues that belong to the state? So there, there are two things. Uh, as I said before, we are uh, implementing this solution for two streams of uh, taxpayer groups. There are taxpayers who already have their invoicing system. Uh, system. So for those taxpayers, Commissioner General is basically plugging into their system. For the taxpayers who do not have uh, any invoicing system, Commissioner General is giving them free invoicing system to use. So, and those invoicing system can either be accessed via a mobile app or a web browser, or they can download those, uh, the, the invoicing system onto their desktop for use. Uh, so those who are on the manual or issuing man manual VAT invoicing system will be uh, migrated to use this free invoicing system. And we're also implementing the solution in phases. So we've selected a group of taxpayers, like you rightly said, uh, 50 uh, from the start, and we'll scale up as, uh, as we go. Mm. Uh, how long do you intend this exercise to take? So we have, uh, there are three phases of the implementation. First phase is what we're doing now. And by the end of uh, Q1 2023, we hope to have uh, brought on board 600 taxpayers. Uh, and then by end of 2023, we hope to have covered all medium task taxpayers. And then by end of 2024, we hope to have covered all VAT, registered VAT taxpayers in the country. Is it restricted only to the capital, Accra? No. So that's what, that's what I said earlier on, that 
uh, for all taxpayers in the country. So it's not restricted only to the Accra, only to Accra. Even though uh, initially we have selected a group, a, a, a number of taxpayers that are actually in Accra. Mm. So, so you mean that the closure of uh, these malls and entities is also happening in other parts of the country? Yes. So for some taxpayers that we have uh, closed their shops, we are also doing the uh, same in other uh, other mm. regions as well. Now, what strategies are you hoping to implement to ensure that any future infraction by business entities are forestalled? So there are two, uh, there are, there are, in fact, there are three uh, compliance tools that are embedded within the system. One is real-time monitoring. So uh, as taxpayers are issuing invoices, GRA is able to uh, identify whether or not they, uh, they are issuing the one, the correct amount of, uh, they, they are charging correct amount of VAT. They are also uh, issuing the invoices that they are supposed to issue. So we have real-time uh, monitoring that, that goes on at the back end of the GRA system. We also see how much revenue is coming in uh, on a real-time basis. And then, so that's the second compliance tool that uh, we, we have. And then the third compliance tool is, uh, we're also coming up with an app so that anyone can basically scan an invoice or a receipt and verify whether or not that invoice is uh, uh, GRA certified. And we will very soon will announce that so that the general public will be able to uh, use this whenever they purchase something from uh, VAT registers to verify whether those invoices are certified. Mm. Um, the other day when you went to one entity, the person was accusing GRA of, uh, you know, the processes there aren't that fluid. And therefore, if you apply to get onto the VAT system, it takes much longer time. And that's why he was operating without uh, the, the GRA certification. What are you doing in that regard to ensure that your processes are quite fluid, to ensure that people have the freedom to apply and get the certification within the shortest possible time? So for each taxpayer that is, uh, that is about to be involved onto the system, we assign a relationship manager to uh, for each taxpayer. Mm. And we also have a technical person that works with each taxpayer to onboard them onto the system. So there's a constant engagement that takes place for, with each of the taxpayers that are being onboarded onto the system. Mm. So we make sure that no taxpayer is left out in as much as uh, en engagement and education is concerned. And we also have our support desks and, uh, that, are, uh, that are ready to answer any questions that uh, any taxpayer has on this issue. Mm. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, Assistant Commissioner VAT or VAT Administration, GRA, Philip Aqua, there.